Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you for a tour around my local neighborhood here where I live in Saitama, Japan and give you a bit of a sense of what it's like to live here. As you can see it's a really local, peaceful and quiet area and there's some beautiful Japanese traditional style houses and gardens around too. Really nice winter day today, blue sky, not too cold. Yeah, not too far from where I live is this shrine where Japanese people will come to pray. I've been told to walk on the side of the path here because only God can walk down the middle. Yeah, I like to come for a walk down here sometimes. It's really pleasant. And just here is where you wash your hands. Japanese people believe that humans have dirty hands. So you have to wash your hands before you meet God. Yeah, it's really nice here. Not many people around today either. Just next to the shrine is a park and a river here. All of these trees you can see will be in full bloom next month. It'll be cherry blossom season. And during that time, Japanese people have Ohanami party, where friends will gather together, sit on a blanket, drink beer, eat snacks, and enjoy the cherry blossom and view. It's a really fun experience if you ever get a chance to, to do it. And just a little bit further down the path is, oh, that's Spinach Farm on, on your left. And this park is where a summer festival is held and Japanese people will dress up in their traditional yukata and there's a lot of singing and dancing and eating food. Really, really fun. We're just going to cross the road here. Japanese people are really good at obeying the law. I've barely ever seen anyone jaywalk against a red light. And just behind me here, if you can see it, it's my elementary school where I teach English. Um, yeah, it's a big school and really fun. And there's kids around everywhere that I teach, so I'm kind of uncomfortable. Let's get out of here. <laughs> if you've ever considered coming to Japan to teach English, I highly recommend it. It's fun, challenging and rewarding. The kids are fantastic. I teach probably three or four English lessons a day and the rest of the time it's just playing dodgeball and joining the PE class. If you can hear that talking, I think I can find... Yes, there's one. There are these loudspeakers everywhere, so if there's an important announcement to be made, the local council will make it over these speakers so everyone can hear. Of course, I can never understand what they're saying. And just on... Yep, over here is my local gym. And it's 8,000 yen per month, $80. It's got everything I need, swimming pool, golf, weights, cardio, sauna, spa. I'm the only foreigner who goes there, so it's hard to keep a, a low profile. Everyone there knows me. Here is where I come to get my Japanese curry, really nice curry here. And this is my local sushi train. Everything is 100 yen. There's no English, so I just have to look at the pictures and decide what looks good and hope for the best. Just over the other side of the road is a really nice gyoza restaurant. And one of my more favorite restaurants to come to all Japanese food here and it's very cheap about 500 yen you can get a bowl 
of sashimi and rice. It's so nice. I love this store cook off. They sell a lot of retro games and manga, books, DVDs. I always come to this section. You can find cheap stuff. On the opposite side is another game store, a mom and pop store. I never go here. They have air guns as well, but the quality of their games and consoles is terrible and overpriced. There's a 100 yen shop just there. And a pachinko parlor. I've never been inside, not interested. Bikes everywhere. Because Japan's such a small country, there's no room for car parks, so everyone rides a bike. We're approaching the station now. And yeah, here's the train station. It's about 470 yen, five dollars, and a 30 minute trip to get into Tokyo from here. And here's a bakery, convenience store, and the local supermarket. Just on the opposite side of the train station is where there's a lot of izakayas and bars. And this one in particular is my favorite local izakaya. I like to come here on Friday. Down this street, it's a bit shady at night time. Um, there's no English, it's all local people. Izakayas and Filipino karaoke. And girls bars. There's another local izakaya that has really good yakitori and beer. I'm going to try and cross this road. It's a bit dangerous, unlike in Australia. Cars don't stop for you. Now just coming up to my local arcade. And I, I come here maybe once a week after work just to unwind. Now, if you ever heard of Kawasaki Warehouse, it was a very, very famous arcade in Japan that closed in November 2019. If you're ever wondering what happened to that, you're about to find out. This is Kawasaki Warehouse's graveyard, and some of the games don't even work anymore. Brad no wheels, out of order. Outrun's not on. At least Space Harry was working. And they bought some of the old games as well. They still got Common Man and stuff. But yeah, it's just sad to see Kawasaki Arcade has turned into this. And if you don't believe me that this is actually Kawasaki Arcade's old machines, then the proof is right here, if you have a look at the sign. There it is, right there. Kawasaki Warehouse. Look at this. This beautiful machine that once stood proudly at Kawasaki Arcade is now sitting here in the back corner of a room somewhere in Saitama, getting no love at all. And of course it wouldn't be Japan without vending machines. And these ones sell sake and beer. How convenient is that? I love this country. Cigarette machines as well. You could never get away with this in Australia. They'd be broken into and robbed. Anyway, that's all there is. Thanks for watching.